Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend with D-Lo. I am your host, D-Lo, and I am making a video for you guys today about Brightburn because the trailer just dropped and it's very funny. James Gunn seems to be giving the middle finger to Marvel, and I think it's he's doing this because he's trying to get in at DC. Not that they really have a lot of, uh, you know, deep-rooted competition, but they kind of do. There's a big history between the two of them. But now, more importantly than that, I have a video for you guys today. Just so you know, this Brightburn uh, trailer, it looks just like Man of Steel. Uh, the Man of Steel trailer. And it is it is literally the story of Superman. It is, the, it is the story, if you guys have seen the story Smallville, it was the WB TV show, then now we know as the CW. But back then in the early 2000s, they made the Superman story before he was Superman. It was Clark Kent. It was the story of Clark Kent in high school uh, coming into his powers. He was, uh, you know, it's the or it's the origin story of Superman. But man, is it a good story. However, um, James Gunn being fired off of Disney Marvel um, is apparently still really salty. But more than that, and I think more important than that, um, is regardless of whether or not it was his fault or not, because I, I do believe that it was a justified firing, even though the circumstances were very gray. It was gray water. Not very black and white. I think Disney did what they had to do, but at the same time, it was still um, a raw deal for James Gunn because he didn't do anything recently. Um, it was just a bunch of nasty, disgusting jokes he made 10 years ago um, that got him fired today. So... Regardless of that, uh, just to get you guys caught up on the scenario, I wanted to play for you guys the trailer. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and cut over here and you guys are gonna take a look at this. So go with me on this one, okay? So you see this, you got the Kent farm, right? You got the, the uh, tractors in the fields. Look at these shots, by the way. This shot was in Man of Steel with the swing. James Gunn, it's the same text, it's the same lettering. see that go back for a second visionary director of guardians of the galaxy this is a salty claim right here okay so if you guys aren't already familiar he's the director of guardians of the galaxy and guardians of the galaxy 2 not only that but he wrote both of them he's a fantastic artist and director although yes he does have a, a kind of a disgusting um, sense of humor outside of his work with disney you know prior to 10 years ago but he also did movies like slither he did um you know something called it's a TV project of his that's not really like a TV program, but it's something that he he did kind of like a funny passion project, I guess. But he made a project called PG Porn, which is in his in his description. If you were to look up the uh, IMDb of this thing, which you don't you don't have to, it's um, it's technically not not really dirty. It's just insinuative, and um, it's like the way that he describes it on say like Michael Rosenbaum's podcast. He says. It's, it's everything that most people like about porn minus the sex, which does not make sense. The whole thing is a, giant, is a giant dirty joke. But it's not actually porn, but just you can tell by his sense of humor that he has that type of, um, I guess, uh, desire for that, that type of thing. Anyway, here, here's his um, you know, vis visionary. I want to focus in on this word. He's not just the guy who wrote it. He's not just the guy who directed it. He's the guy that made the the completely unknown group known as the Guardians of the Galaxy. He made them a household name. Okay, so they didn't belong prior to that. So he um, nobody knew who they were. Nobody knew their stories. Nobody really cared. There was they were a deep cut. I'm telling you, they were deep. Nobody nobody knew who they were. And if they did, it was even rarer that they had ever read an actual story of theirs. More likely that they had heard of them through a different comic. Um, so, Guardians of the Galaxy, they've become big, they changed, they revolutionized the MCU, and he, he made Suicide Squad what it is today because it was based off of the Guardians of the Galaxy. It had that ragtag group of criminals. I mean, I'm not talking about the, the Suicide Squad comic, I'm talking about the movie in the DCEU, even though 
it failed. It was trying to be what James Gunn did for Guardians of the Galaxy. And so, in that same way, um, he's pointing out here in his own movie now with Sony. This is a Sony movie. Um, Brightburn, Brightburn is a Sony film. He's talking about himself as the visionary director of Guardians of the Galaxy now that he's been fired. <laughs> so, But look at this. His whole thing is Superman. It's got Superman all over it. Look at this. After your dad and I got married, we prayed for a baby for so long. Look, it crash lands out here. One night. Someone listened. You notice right here? The baby's wrapped in a red cape. Brandon? Too perfect, my friend. You are special. So here's the boy, right? And notice he's wearing a blue shirt. We believe that you came here for a reason. He's drawn to you, right? He was in the barn. Out there in, in Did the you find it? No. He's finding it? It was like he was drawn to it. He may look like us. Look at that. He's super strong too. This kid has super strength. Let's keep He's going. not like us. Did you see that? You're hovering. He's flying with a red cape. Do you see this? Look at all these alien symbols. So Superman, he wears the S on his chest, right? So he's got that, you know, like that. Um, this is gonna be mirrored anyway, because I'm recording, but you go like that, that's an S. So here on the screen, you can see boom, 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 S, okay? Um, here's an M, you know, for man. It doesn't have to be an M. Superman's logo doesn't have an M. But one thing that Superman's Kryptonian language does have is plenty of characters. Now, I would be willing to bet this one's in there somewhere. But this one's supposed to be like Brightburn. It's a B and a B. And, um, you know, it's not, the super, it's not the Kryptonian symbol for hope, but it does resemble that alien language, right? So, and that's what this is supposed to be, okay? So he's he's out here scribbling this, this symbol that's supposed to be him. You see that? I'm gonna go back, right here. Look at that. So this is him, right? In that, in that he's flying out here. His eyes are glowing red. That's not so His eyes do you see that <laughs> he's burning through it with his eyeballs <laughs> Super speed. <laughs> did you see that this movie Brightburn is Superman it is Man of Steel can I just be you know it does I think it ends right there but let me just go back here and show you guys just this this shot alone let me just see with the cornfield look at all this these are shots that were in Man of Steel in the trailer and in the movie. Watch this. This shot here is in Man of Steel. Those, that text is in Man of Steel's trailer. This right here, that shot right there, that shaky cam into the sunrise of the grass, that is in Man of Steel. This whole thing is designed to be a love note to DC and a giant FU middle finger to Marvel for, uh, get, for firing him over something they already knew existed and now he's saying you know what I want in to the uh, I want into DC I really want to direct I want to write I want the project nobody is picking up I want Man of Steel 2 that's what I want I want to take over the Man of Steel mantle that's what I want some people want him to do Suicide Squad 2 I also think that's a great idea I know that Dave Batista would join him and play a very awesome, um, uh, what's it called? Boss Logic did the art for him as Bane. So him, you know, just uh, check that out. In fact, I might even be able to pull that up for you guys. Let me see if I can just go ahead and do that.
You see this? So this was the art piece. So it's technically it's Drax the Destroyer, but um, he did the art. Boss Logic did an art and changed Drax the Destroyer into Bane. So this is what Dave Batista could look like as Bane potentially. So it doesn't mean that it's happening. This is just fan art, but it's darn good fan art. So I just wanted to bring that up so you guys could see that. And um, yeah, man, this is a lot to take in, but this, I, I, this is my theory. I think that um, James Gunn working with Sony on Brightburn as a horror story, it's supposed to be an original story, but it's clearly a parody of Smallville slash Man of Steel, right? It's a, the Superman story. It's a, it's a parody of Superman, clearly, no doubt. There's not even room for this to not be Superman. There wasn't like anything in this trailer that wasn't Superman. If you take the, the stories of Smallville in account to um, him being raised on the farm and having to deal with coming into these powers, being overwhelmed by them, not knowing whether to use them for good or for evil, um, and even the times where he was possessed by the different types of kryptonite, there was lots of times where stories like this took place on Smallville. This is Superman. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. It's not DC though. It's not a DC movie. So it's not officially Superman, but it most certainly is. It most certainly is a parody, a darn good parody, and it shows that James Gunn is, wants to pick up where Zack Snyder left off and take up the writing uh, and directing role in Man of Steel 2. He wants that role. No one else is touching it. They're not even on the slate, not because Henry Cavill is out, but because nobody wants to touch the project but james gunn will and that's what he's saying here i think we're going to see very soon that dc is and warner brothers is going to announce that they're working with james gunn on the on the man of steel 2 script i will bet that's going to happen probably after brightburn um, gets some financial and box office results but this makes me want to go see this movie because it's basically horror superman if you could take Superman and make a horror film out of it, that is what this movie is. Brightburn is Superman. No doubt, this is Superman. Anyway, that's a lot. You guys let me know <laughs> down in the comments what you guys think. I, I went, I ran it on quite a bit about this, but man, this is actually really exciting. Um, I don't even like horror and I'm really pumped for this one. So you guys let me know down below what you think. Can't wait to hear from you guys. And as always, um, like this video if you like it, share it with those you love. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure to turn on notifications so you can go live with me next time. Um, I go live quite often. In fact, I actually went live trying to do this one, but I was having some audio difficulties. Still kind of am if you guys can kind of hear that a little bit. But um, nonetheless, thank you guys for being awesome. Uh, leave your comments down below. I can't wait to get into this one with you guys. Talk to me. Let me know if you guys think that this is legit. If you guys think that I'm crazy and this makes absolutely no sense, I need to hear why because to me, this is this is just cut and dry. It's barely a theory, in my opinion. This, this to me has so much evidence to support this idea. It is speculation. It's not fact, but it's pretty solid. This is pretty solid. Um, anyway, thanks, guys. I greatly appreciate you. You guys, stay tuned for more right here on the Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.